Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful multi bow fascinator made with ashoke. Materials needed are ashoke fabric, glue, and measuring tape, scissors, and crinoline. Okay, I'll start by wrapping my Alice band with this trimming. The trimming is 1 inch wide by 42 inches. At the top. Then I'll go to the other edge. I will start from there and stop here. Okay, this is it. I'll set this aside. Okay, I'll double thread my needle. Then I will place my crinoline first. Then place my ashoke. Next, I will measure 12 inches. Then I will fold it, you can see, I will fold it to the 12 inches mark. I will tack it just to keep it in place. Next, I will go in by one inch from the point that I folded the 12 inches. I will go in by one inch. Then I will measure another 12 inches. Then I will fold it over. I'll overlap it by one inch. Then I'll form a bow. I'll make a plate. Then I will tack it. Okay, I will set my thread aside. You can see. Then from the middle, I will measure 14 inches. This is my 14 inches. I'll hold on to it. I'll take it up and place it together with this part, then place them together.
I'll tap together. Then I'll set my thread aside. Okay. Okay. Then from the middle, I'll measure another 14 inches. Okay, this is it. Then I will fold it. This is the 14 inches. I will plate it. Okay, then I will place it at the back of the first bow that I made. You can see. I will tack it. Then on the other side, I'll measure another 14 inches. Then I will plate. You can see how I'm doing it. I'll be placing it at the back of the other first bow. Then I will tag. Then next, I'll measure another 14 inches. I will place it like this. You can see. A little bit to the side like this then I will tack it okay I will set my thread aside I will measure another 14 inches I will plate. And take it to the other side. Then I will tack it. You can make more bows if you want, but I'm okay with this. So I will stitch them well.
I will leave out 3 inches and cut out the excess part. Next, I will fold in half an inch on the edge and sew it. Okay, next, I will tack it down here. okay this is it this is the front view next is to attach it to my alice band i'll be attaching it at 1.5 inch towards the left from the middle you can attach it at one inch to two inches depending on how you want yours to look so i'll be attaching mine at 1.5 inch from the middle towards the left So I'll apply my glue. Okay. After that, I will place my tri my leftover trimming. I'll attach it like this then I'll sew it with my needle and thread note I am sewing it on the bow at the top When I'm done, I will knot it. I will take it all the way to the back through under the Alice band. You can see. Then I will sew it to the back of the bow at the top. I'll fold it in, then sew. Carefully sew it from the inside neatly. The thread should not be visible on top of the trimming. After I will knot it, okay, this is it. You can come here and tack the bow, you can tack the bow here and here too, just to keep it in place. You can come here and tack it. Tuck it here. So, thanks for watching.